Hi everyone, it's great to see you. It is the beginning of January, so it is time for me to check the hydrangeas that are in the shed. If you remember back at the beginning of December, I took all the bags that had been the bags in the pot in the pot, and some of them are stored in here, about 12 of them, I think. And once a month, I need to check on those to make sure that the soil is still a little damp. Now they're hibernating, they're dormant, so they really don't need a lot of water, but you don't want them to completely dry out. If I find that any of them do need some water, of course, I don't have running water outside at the moment because we've turned off all the spigots so they don't freeze. I have a bucket of water here and I only give them about a cup because remember when they're dormant, they don't need that much water to just stay alive. I just want to give them enough to keep them going. So I have my cup measuring um, cup here and my bucket of water and let's see how they're doing. Okay, so here are all of my babies and they look pretty good. They do look very dormant. Notice that there's no leaves. We didn't put any leaves in here. We didn't want any of the foliage to then fall, have the chance to rot. We also don't want to overwinter any extra hitchhikers that could come in with them. So I'm just going to reach into each of these pots and feel the soil to see how damp it is. And uh, yeah, you probably shouldn't wear gloves for this. You can feel better how it is. This is really pretty damp, so I'm not going to touch this one. This one, I'm going to scrape the top is dry. As I go down about half an inch an inch, it really seems pretty wet. I'm going to give it about half a cup, just a little bit doesn't need much. Same with this one here. It's a little dry, but it's really not that bad. So I'm just gonna give it about half a cup. Just enough to keep it going. And I'm gonna do that for each one. This one feels really damp. This feels very damp. They were pretty moist when I put them in. Not sopping wet, but you know, eh, maybe half a cup here. Just a little bit. Okay. This feels plenty damp enough. This one's a little dry. And this is what we do once a month with these. Just sort of a little check. This also gives you an idea, you know, of what's going on in the shed. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be out here. I always have this fear that I'm going to open the shed doors and like a raccoon's gonna attack me or something. You want to know what's going on with your plants. So a once a month check is probably a good idea. This one is dry. Okay, the others look great. I just wanna feel the one over here, make sure. Looks good. It is so exciting to also check on these once a month throughout the winter because Christmas is over, so I am ready for flowers. So this once a month check just reminds me of all the great things that we have to look forward to with our hydrangea. And as I look, I can see all this growth that is here that will spring to life once the warmer temperatures come. This is what we're protecting while they're inside. So I look at these babies and I'm like, oh, these are gonna be beautiful flowers next year, beautiful leaves. It's totally worth it to bring them in, do this once a month check because there's so much happy hydrangea potential here. And my little tiny rootings that I did really look like they're going to make it too. I can tell there's still those small green buds there and that's really happy to see that when you propagate your own hydrangea it's a great way to protect them the first winter too. The hydrangea look great in here and I have remembered that there is one rose that is in a bag that I still need to move in here. So when I moved all the hydrangeas in at the beginning of December, this rose was still blooming, had lots of leaves, and we really want to wait for it to defoliate before we put it away. So it now has lost its leaves. Let's go check on it and get it stored in the shed. 
So here is my last bag that is not in the shed yet. This is my double pink knockout rose. And I have waited for it, at least it's not in bloom anymore. It is pretty much dormant. If you find there are a few leaves left on your rose by this point, you know, we're heading into the second week of January, um, you can cut off those last few leaves. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I'm just gonna trim these right where they attach to the main stem. I just saw some flake off, so they really are. This, this plant is dormant, which is good. We don't want to overwinter any disease. And we know that our roses frequently get black spot here. And black spot affects the leaves and it is carried on the leaves through to next year. So you don't want that getting in your soil because you left these leaves laying around. So not only am I going to trim off these last few little pieces, and I'm gonna deadhead the rose hips here. I am going to make sure that I put them in a garbage bag. So you do not want to add this to your compost pile or you know, don't recycle these with your leaves because they could have black spot that you don't want to overwinter there. I'm also gonna look around the base here. Just like with the hydrangeas, we wanna make sure that we're not leaving any of that debris in the bottom that could be harboring any of the black spot. So I clean that out. So now we look like we're pretty well set. There is one more thing that you can do for your roses at this point. Roses, except for a few heirloom roses and a few climbing roses, one of your older varieties. This is one of the new varieties, the knockout rose. They mainly bloom on new wood. This particular kind definitely blooms on new wood. So there are no buds set on here that I would be cutting off and I prune this because this is going to be my second year rose. I'm working at, you know, giving this a really good structure. I can trim this down while it's dormant. Dormant time is the best time to trim your roses. So usually that's January, February for zone 6B. I can cut it, you know, to a foot, maybe a foot and a half. I'm actually gonna take it right back to about here. So this is the great thing about roses. Literally, unlike hydrangea, that you have to be so careful, don't trim them, don't cut off the uh, buds if they grow on old wood. With roses, you are pretty safe trimming them. Um, and they will come back and give you a beautiful flush of flowers. So I just decided to do that now and get it out of the way. So that would be a January or a February um, job for you. And this looks good. I have a good structure here. I'm just gonna pick out a couple more little leaves that I see. And we have had a ton of rain. So this is plenty damp enough. In fact, my guess is I won't be watering this the next couple months. So let's go put this in the shed. Okay, the rose has been added to the whole collection here and I will check on them beginning of February now. So this is so exciting. The countdown is on. I just count the days now until it's warm enough to bring everything back out. But my babies look good and I hope that your hydrangeas are looking good whether they're in the ground right now or dormant in your shed. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.